Kim Jong Un, <laughs> infinite. <laughs> but but so you can say the same thing about him. From what we know, his people love him too, right? But people be getting murdered over there. And, and this is true. Right. So so it's like I. I I think that what I consider evil anyway is anytime you try to force your will, yeah, like anytime you try to like manip like like bend something to your will, right? Oh, that that something like or trouble. someone else. When you try to bend someone else to your will, right? Like without their say so, without you know uh, their permission. So would you say America is kind of evil then? Yeah, I mean, there's no nation that can be that can be considered good. <laughs> there's there's no nation that can be considered good. They can be considered, uh, uh, they, I don't know. They can't even be considered neutral. They can just be considered not the worst. That's it. That's all you're fighting for. Because there's no way to run or govern a large body of people without doing some shady stuff. So, I mean, like some countries like Sweden, Norway. It's not a large body of people. And they're homogenous. That is true. That is true. They're, they're all white for the most part. And they're very small. And the only reason that they that they're able to do what they're able to do is because they found a way to make themselves seem valuable to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And so the rest of the world leaves them alone because they're like, oh, yeah, like the Swiss, the Switzerland, you, you, you know, they're like, hey, you can hide your money here. Right. All the rich people are like, oh, yeah, we got to protect that place. Hide Yo, your money Switzerland here. Is like that place is damn near like. I don't know. I mean, I I spent the week there, but that uh, from what I spent there, I, that place is is like perfect. But it's it's, it's like super expensive though. That's and it's homogenous though, right? How many black people did you see there? <laughs> How many what? Nah. Black people, right? Right. That's what they said when you when you <laughs> asked the question. Any black people? Any what? Like they're it's they're all blonde, they're all blue eyed. It's easy to it's easy to do that when first of all you're white, so you have an international passport, which is your skin, right? Like, you just have to come from a, a nation that nobody hates and be white, and people automatically trust you. And even if they don't trust you, they want your money, so they will respect you in some capacity. So you can travel anywhere in the world you want. They they're pretty much all they pretty much all have money over there, right? Like their entire nation, which is easy to do when, you're, when your nation is small, right? When your nation is small and, and you're you're not based. You're, 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 it's, it's, it's different for like countries where, where you got to kind of like raise capital and stuff like that. Where like you have to have poor people. You have, well, at least in the past you did. Now you just have machines. So now poor people are getting in the way <laughs> of capitalism. But <laughs> back in the day, you had to. Have like we gotta keep paying our motherfuckers. God that's damn. exactly what's happening now, which is why you see the divide. <laughs> And you see, oh, you know, they want to I'm done. poor people are getting like right in the way because it used to be you needed them to till the fields and you needed them. like, how are you going to get your food? Like, you, you don't want to hunt for your own food or you don't want to to raise your own cattle. You don't want to do the dirty work. But now the machines can like pick up the slack. Nobody wants poor people at all. And, the, and to be honest, shoot, I'm sure the elite would be happy if they could eliminate the world down to like 5,000. But they just need to get that perfect computer system in place. And then I can't imagine them needing the rest of us or wanting the rest of us around. Like they start uh, trying to build their own, yeah, build their own planets or leave. Like, I, I, why do you think Bezos is trying to leave Earth? He wants to go somewhere. He, 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 uh, he basically unlocked everything here. So it's mm -hmm. like, I'm bored. I, go, I need yeah. to go, I need to go so unlock some other shit. Like the great Amazon books. Empire. Started with books. That is so frustrating to me. This nigga was Isn't selling it? books. Man was selling books. If selling I had known books. that back then, I would have been like, guys, don't you dare a buy a single too. freaking He was like book. the epitome of a dork. Yeah, like, oh. he's like Sluthor. He looks I've just ever like... I've seen like, the original like Amazon website, too. Like, it was oh, it's it ugly. Was, like, it, it was ugly. garbage. It's ugly. I, the, the, it's the... Ugly for a long time. I don't really, I don't, I don't really it's, like the it's design. It's still not attractive. Yeah, yeah. It's, but yeah. but it's but you can't be do super it ugly. because there's so much on it and it needs to all be there. Yeah. Right. So, so then he was also the first person to think of, to himself cloud infrastructure too. Like he just like it, let me be honest. Like, like Amazon, he, he, did, he thought of it. Shit but... now. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Look, he, like, he, he needed it. Makes the money. It's AWS. It's rare. It's rare capital. that the geniuses yeah. actually run the companies. Like I'm, these right. guys are all smart, right? But it's rare that the most brilliant person runs the company. It's very rare because they're usually very involved in doing the thing that makes them brilliant, and so yeah, right. therefore. It's, a, it's almost impossible to be Tony Stark, which is why you make a character like that in comic books, because he is is something that you'll probably never see in reality, right? Elon Musk is as close as you get, and he's not Tony Stark. Like, he's not no, close. He's not. he's not close to Tony Stark. He's just what he's just what he's like. He's like a he would be like Tony Stark's like little brother, like trying to the keep up with brother. Tony. Yeah, like, like yeah. Still, like, he's trying to fight with white nerds. Want you to believe? Like meetings with his engineers <laughs> and stuff like that. Like, doesn't he still have a hand in like product design? I have no idea. Um, I'm sure he does. I'm sure. Look, I I think he's brilliant. He obviously is a smart individual because he understands what he's talking about when he's he's explaining rocket science to people. And he's yeah. not a rocket scientist, right? So he became a rocket scientist technically, but not not. Uh, he doesn't have a degree in it, but. He became one through his own personal study. He was like, I need to understand this so I can, you know, figure out. Because he, it, it's one thing to just hire a bunch of smart people and be like, hey, build me rockets. But then you can't actually help drive the direction of your company because you don't know what you're looking at. So it makes sense. Like, if you're going to say, if you want to get in the rocket uh, uh, ship business, you better understand rockets. I don't care how rich you are. He did it out of so, necessity because nobody, nobody would join his company yeah and that's yeah. and that's another thing <laughs> if you can't find anybody to do it you gotta do it yourself because like he like I, i'll pay you a bunch of money and they're like yeah, yeah you're gonna fail so <laughs> i'll stay here at NASA. so he had to he they'll had to stay there at off. nasa and make sixty thousand dollars a year <laughs> complete like last question and then we'll start the show properly like once Space travel is privatized, right? And you can just go up there whenever you want to. You guys going? You guys going up? Heck Y'all no. trusting that? No, no, so no. It's not going in the know. early days. That's all. No, no. The, it won't be. It no. It will not be what I would want space travel to be in my lifetime. So I'll stay no here. Problem. There's no. If, if, there's I, no if, uh, if I don't have you a don't family know. by then, if I'm like by myself, I'll probably do it because I'm like, ah. That's sh-. smart. That's smart. But. Yeah. If it's if I have a family and I'm, yeah, no, nah, I can't do that shit. That's for you. Will. You no, will look, have a family by then, so it I'm, I, I'm just saying this. You're gonna launch yourself. Do you know how easy it is to get lost in space? It is easier to get lost in space than it is to do almost anything. <laughs> like, is there, there a, is there a easy. space compass yet? Like, I don't. And and and, and will there ever yeah, be? Space you can't you can't make a compass on space. There's no poles in space. There's no way to. Right. to they gotta to figure something the fuck out. You, you, I, you I mean, but it's stars, right? Maybe you, you technically, star, but you star but you have to put something out there that can tell you what star you're you're navigating by. Like if you look at like Star Wars, they navigate by a one specific quadrant Western. in the in the universe. So they use the standard time. They navigate off of a of a standard galaxy. I know this is science fiction, but this is these are smart people who are trying to figure out how this would happen yep, if right. it if we got a chance. So it's like they, they find one central place and that's Coruscant and they're like, okay, we're gonna now we're gonna basically run the entire galaxy off of Coruscant's sector of the galaxy. So whatever time it is in Coruscant, that's standard. Whatever they speak in Coruscant, that's standard. And so it's basically a way of like you gotta find an anchor point. Um so technically, you could make a compass if you put uh, enough stuff out there to keep pull, uh, pushing a signal of where's Earth, where's Earth, where's Earth. You can kind of have a compass, but to really have a compass, you need more than one point, right? Right. Like you can't just you need you need multiple points. So, so I don't know. I think I think that it, for me, it's, it's so easy to get lost in space. I don't want no I don't want no parts of it. I mean, you could just go two centimeters to the left on launch and you're miles away from where you were trying to go. So, all right. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm more afraid of the ocean. Blurred that well, well, you, well travel and that's because there's actually through. stuff in the ocean, Preston. Yeah, but it's... I don't know. There's something about it. Just, yeah, that True just monsters out. out there. I just know that I'd be dead in the ocean quickly. And so yeah. I, I wouldn't, well, ha- I wouldn't have to... In space quickly, too. Oh yeah, but like say say you're in a spacecraft and it gets thrown out of orbit. That spacecraft was designed for you to survive in space, so you are going to survive in darkness. You can, tr- you can trash it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But in the you ocean, pry, I don't even have to pry open a door, and then as soon as that door, 
And you can take a deep, you can take a deep breath underwater and do the same thing. (laughs) So it's like you don't have to, you don't have to be lost in the ocean. Yeah. Did y'all see that movie, uh, Open Water? No, but it sounds frightening. Oh Jesus! That's probably like the most like water-based scary movies just because like it's just like i don't do final destination either like i'm fine with like the spirit in the house because even though like it's likely it's not super likely but mm-hmm. like death by roller coaster seems real more likely than like you know <laughs> a ghost spirit trying to kill me death so by i try to avoid coaster. movies like that yeah that's if, you final destination. Six, if you go to six Flags up here, you're definitely oh, putting yeah, your life on the line. <laughs> Yo. Definitely. That oh, shit. shit. That shit is, you know, is breaking down. Six dog. Flags is, 